let's get start demo first so this is the azure deployment series here actually we'll deploy using github ci cd pipeline and which will automatically deploy on azure right so see this is our uh, deployment uh, app service here so i just you know push my changes into our github changes so they will automatically trigger uh, in our here automatic trigger and it will deploy on our azure site right so that will be implement in this uh, session from the scratch so let's get the start so before implementation i especially recommend uh, go to my channel dot net real world example and you can just check out you know how get that free subscription with azure if you don't have any subscription and all so you can get it and also there's a mechanism i just try to deploy simple deployment using the drag and drop also there's a many things actually you will get that for the azure deployment if you go to the playlist series right so let's start so first of all uh, log in your uh, azure portal using the sandbox login and click that app service click create web app using the resource group name make it name as a blizzard app deployment via git hub action using the code and also change that uh, whatever framework you want and rest of things just keep it same and create a review once is validation done create once is done your deployment complete so click that go to resource so if you go to your resource as of now just you get the default domain once you click it's just simple app is running right there's a nothing just waiting for your content right so why we have created uh, that resource app resource because we required actually this you know uh, publish profile be using this publish profession we, we can using our github actions to deploy ci cd pipeline right so that's why we have to just created and next things what you need to do you have to create your github account which i already we have created so you also make sure do you have a github account so what i need to do now let me open a web visual studio i have to create a new project of blazor app so this is that just create a new project use blazor web app whatever app you can use you can use it and simply i just make it to blazor web web blazor app deployment via github actions right and make it next keep it thus default and also i just make it to server create now your app is ready right now let me make sure like it is working fine there is no build error there is no other dependencies error over there so before deployment we have to make sure like it is working fine you know it is working absolutely fine there's no issue this will be deployed as of now and let me close and go to the solution here what i need to do simply i have to add you know uh let me first add in our, in our repository right so how we can add it if you log in your authentication in git git so you can just add over here i can push that repository right so as of now i'll just push it over here for example this is my repository name and you can make it private as well there is no issue so i can create and push so now it's it's pushed if you want to make sure uh, go to your github account so this is my github account and go to my repository you will get this is that right so my repository has been created now what i need to do i have to create one workflow so how we can create it that so i'll just go back to again visual studio and go to open right click on the solution go to that open folder right and if you open the folder you will get this is that folder right and here in this root folder right see this is our main folder it's a root folder we have a solution file here i need to create and one folder that is called dot git hub and inside this folder go to that inside this folder i have to create another folder that is called create folder that is called workflows workflows right and inside this i have to create one yaml file there's a many way actually to do, do that there's another way actually we can use the template but yeah we'll use that ml ml file so let me create one ml file for example blazor web 
app deploy deployment right and make it your extension is aml file right so make it that so once it's done now go back to your here go to that git repository definitely you will see your ml has been created right but as of now there is so what i need to do over here simply we have to write some script whatever we do right suppose for example what is CICD actually this is a similar what we do actually that manually like suppose I just create a and you know, publish that folder and then create a zip or something whatever we step be doing right so same thing we can forcefully write a script so they will do uh, automatically so that is actually CICD nothing actually so that way actually we have to write over here so first of all what I need to write I'll just create a name over here so this is my name like what is my uh, name like this is a deployment sp.net core as well whatever name you can pass it you can make it over here and then what i need to do in the second section my second section would be this like where i am actually executing our uh, which branch actually i want to execute our file right so this is that branch right so for example on push so any anybody is push in this master branch or whatever branch you want you can just make it over here right so based on this branch it will just fire and execute here and also this is a pull request see this is one more section is a pull request for branch like what kind of file if we if you push so it will trigger so you can mention it well like what kind of file you just want to filter over here so that is actually filter right so once it's done then what i need to do i have to create some environment like for the uh, per further use we have to create some environment so let me create this section so this is another section where i just create a environment and here what i just create simply i create a azure web app and this is a web app name right where you will get that web app name go to that azure portal and this is your app service whatever app service web app you have created and go back to here go to that app service and this one you just created right so this is your web app name so this one you can just copy simply over here like here and go back to your uh, visual studio and here simply you have to just replace your web app name right so this is one thing is done second thing just set azure web app package path so whatever package path as a by default you can set as a default route right as a main route and then you can specify over here dot net version right this is important right which which application you're trying to build right for example if you go back to your solution and here we are trying to build this dot net 8 right so that's why you can just mention over here like what version right so if it is dot net uh, 1.1 1 .1 and 1 1.2 everything actually it will cover like based, based on this this version so uh, if you want to other like suppose all the version of dot net is will you know support so then we just you can you can use that one also right so but yeah as of now i will use 811 8.0 point whatever other version so i can use put at the x right so that is done now what is that other step other step is the jobs like what a kind of job actually we have to perform so let me and also one more thing actually this is a very very carefully if you write that script so what are the space and all the you have to make sure like it's correctly you have to place right place right so for example this is environment but after that see there is a few space over there it is two space right so that you have to make sure it is correct place right and then what i need to do i have to just create one jobs so let me create a jobs for dev environment so make it this right so this is just i just create another step like jobs and what i'm trying to do in this job build and deploy we, there is a many way actually we can do like separate separate like first build and deploy but yeah we can together as well as a job so i can just create a build and job and here run which machine you want to run right so there's a many mac or a one two and whatever machine you want to run so you can just mention over here right so i just mention over one two right and then what is the environment it is environment of dev so i just mention over here then what i need to do i have to just uh have to just step right so we'll go back to in the stat and then i have to set the steps so what are the steps now we have to do so first step would be 
uh, we have to actually check out our repository right so whatever repository we have that i have to check out so how we can do that that is actually the code we have that i can use like that so I'll go to start and then areas and see the hyphen uses and then action checkout version 3 so this will actually help to get the repository checkout so first whatever that repository they will check out like this code right so that is a first step then what is the next step next step would be your sdk like we are using uh, .NET, right so we have to set our dotnet sdk environment right so we have to install that right so how we can install that simply again just make it this the space so that you can understand so now see now second step is again use the name set up that dot net core and use this right again that you use this and see over here i'm just using action setup dot net v1 right so you can just use a latest version as well also but yeah as of now i'll use that this one so this one help to actually set up your dot net sdk in this machine right so that's why i use this second step right and then what is that third step now my third step would be we have to actually build and publish uh, our every our you know our uh, binary into a published folder right so what i need to do simply hit enter go to to end starting over here and hit enter and go to end and now what i need to do i simply write some code to run and publish our folder so this is that one so again we put the name and what we are trying to do we are trying to over here just .NET build and publish this is a normal name whatever name you can just add it over here now it's have a run command and this run command what we are trying to do after you know install your SDK .NET restore first I will restore then .NET build right and then what I am trying to do simply .NET publish and that release mode and also use that azure web app path right and slash here like now what that means over here so that means whatever trying to publish after publishing we have a store you know one folder path right so that is path is that dot slash my app right and what is that environment dot this guy so if you go up see this one is a root folder like dot and then slash app so whatever we are creating our binary we will store in this folder right once is done what you need to do simply the last step so now what i need to do i have to just deploy it. so that is deployed how we can deploy simply i need to write one more deployment script over here now see here again just create a name and what you are trying to do here just we have to deploy using the profile management things right and use this again we use that azure web apps deploy to so this is actually that uh, you know, code which will support that azure and they try to deploy their environment and here with app name what is that app name this is app name same name which will just store over here which is coming from web app service and then publish profile and here actually that one more things so we have to download this publish profile go back to your uh, azure over here right uh, here right see so here you just created your web app right and uh, here then if you go to this here and you will get that you know publish profile right so download this publish profile and store in somewhere right just store and just open this guy and open in a notepad this is your publish profile right so copy this publish profile go back to your github and here in this repository what you need to do you have to store actually this is in a secret place so that nobody can uh, check nobody can see easily right settings so you can directly go to setting as well there's no issue and if you scroll down you will get that you know that is secret and variable click that action and here click the new rep new repository secret you just paste your secret and you can just paste it your name over here right so what is your name so that you can just make it whatever you name you can want so i can make it this name so make it this name and just add this secret that's it and then go back to your here and this is done and then publish package what is that our publish package simply again 
विच वी हैव जस्ट स्टोर राइट वी हैव स्टोर ओवर हियर राइट सो सेम थिंग्स वी हैव जस्ट पैकेज ओवर हियर वी कैन मेंशन सो दैट दैट पब्लिश प्रोफाइल दे विल पिक इट एंड दिस पैकेज ओवर हियर एंड दे विल डिप्लॉय राइट सो दिस इज एक्चुअली सिंपल स्क्रिप्ट विच वी कैन यूजिंग फॉर गिट हब एक्शन फॉर सी आई सी डी पाइप लाइन सो वंस डन योर स्क्रिप्टिंग राइट इफ यू सी एवरीथिंग इज डन एंड लेट मी सी इन गिट चेंजेस ऑल्सो you have to just push this uh, this new file to your repository so what you need to do simply add over here comments add uh, my deployment yaml file right and simply once you push once you push done your trigger will fire so go to your repository go back to over here and if you go to that uh, actions click that see now it is starting your ml file to trigger right so if you click on that your build is triggering firing starting once you click on that now see all the step has been started like set up job run an action set up dot net core and then what is the next step next step is dot net build and publish and once is done it is now publishing your uh, folder to our azure this is the final step so now it's done and now see job complete is done and also if you see the green tick so that means it's completely fine so once you go back and go back to azure portal and click your default domain and if you refresh see whatever your changes a uh, new deployment that is actually over here and it is perfectly working fine now we'll test actually changes our few things for example suppose this is a component right so i just want to change the our component and also uh, make sure like okay once i change this component that is reflecting right so go back to your visual studio and uh, go to your solution go to that component and uh, go to pages and go to home right so this is my home page so what i will do welcome to welcome to let me change something welcome to dot net real world example right and just save it right and simply uh, add it on home pages just commit so that we can make sure it is firing automatically once you push so now see i have pushed so go back to your uh, github and uh, go back to actions see now this is a new comment which i added on home page right so once you add it see automatically it's firing right and if you go to inside that here so this all the step like one by one that will complete itself so if you open that again see all the step it's trying to execute itself we don't need to do anything just push your changes and once your changes found over here they will trigger and they will publish over to our azure app service now see it's completed right and also it is green tick if you go up to actions now the two things green tick right because this is previous one this is current one and now check to over here what is our new changes that is should be reflect in your azure portal right so see i just change welcome to dot net real world example that is got changes over here and rest of things also it's working fine so now this way actually you can simply create your you know ci cd pipeline using the right github actions and uh, you can publish your uh, website inside that web azure app service web app right so as of now i just push to the, this to our you know here uh, blazor app but yeah in upcoming session also we'll do many many things like for example azure function i'll just using the cid cd ci cd pipeline and also uh web app using desert pages and you know mbc all that apis also apis will do one by one but yeah this is for just starting so that you can understand how we can easily you can just you know use github and publish your things right so that's all for this session and this is the repository also uh, you can use this repository with your ml file right and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you